perfect. Good morning and welcome to a day in my life in Oslo. Today I will be working from home, but before I can start working, I really have to clean up the kitchen. I can't think when it's this messy around me, so I just have to get this done. And this is really something that we should be doing the night before, but my partner and I, we are not that good at getting to bed early. That's something that we're still working on. So when we go to bed that late, we don't have the energy anymore to <laughs> clean up everything. So that's a habit we're working on and trying to change, but it takes time. Now it's back to the way it should be. I wish that it could stay like this all the time. Okay, so it wasn't that messy, but I do like to have clean surfaces and not much clutter. A bit is okay, but not too much. So now, coffee. I make my iced coffee with two shots of espresso, one pump of Torani vanilla syrup and some sweetener. And then I use this little milk frother to make the espresso nice and foamy. I add lots of ice cubes. And then I top it off with oat milk. Okay, perfect. So now it's time to log into work. I first said it's time to work into log. <laughs> I need coffee. So my working hours, they are somewhat flexible. Everyone has to be there between nine and three and we work seven and a half hours and it's 30 minutes unpaid lunch. So that's eight hours. And then we can choose if we want to start anywhere between seven and nine. It's actually very bright outside today. Maybe we will actually see some sunlight today. Haven't seen that in three or four days. <laughs> yes, we are dying here in Norway. I walked to the nearest forest. It's not really a forest, it's more like a small woodland. It may seem like it's very remote or isolated. It's really not. It's a kindergarten in the back. I don't know if you're able to hear it, but it's very noisy because it's the middle of the day, so the children are off playing and screaming. <laughs> but I really like to come here to fly my drone because you get a really nice view. I like that it's far away from other people, but even though the weather is nice enough, meaning it's not raining and it's not snowing like it does like every other day, but it is very cloudy. So I don't know if the shots are gonna turn out that good. Okay, we are nearly there. So this is my spot. And as you can see, it's very open here between the trees so it's safe to fly my drone up Flight session complete. I think it went really well. I think I got some good shots. Well, you just saw them, so you would know. It was very foggy, but you still got that view. So I just think that drone photography or videography, I guess, is so cool. So it didn't really matter that it was foggy. 
because I just want every kind of view, every season, every kind of weather, yeah, you get the picture. It's just very difficult to walk in the snow, it's so deep and now it's getting kind of soft so I'm just falling through it. <laughs> so now I'm heading home and getting back to work. It's been a couple of hours since I finished work. The evening has been very uneventful because earlier when I got home after flying the drone, I got so dizzy. Well, actually it happened very immediately after I was done flying the drone. So I'm pretty sure my dizziness is from that. I probably spent too long like this, just watching my drone. <laughs> Ah, oh, now I got another dizzy. I felt it. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. I did fly my drone a week ago and I didn't get dizzy then, but I think I spent a bit longer this time, just a couple of minutes, but I don't know. So after I got home, I concentrated on finishing work and then I just lay down on the sofa, slept for over an hour. So hopefully I won't struggle to sleep later tonight because tomorrow I'm going into the office so I have to get up early so I really hope that I won't struggle to fall asleep. I don't want to get up but I really have to eat. I'm so hungry. My partner is not home. He's always working late this time of the year because he's an accountant so I have to make I'm just going to do something really quick and easy. Okay, let's just see what we can find in here. So, this is today's dinner, tomato soup. And this is actually so good. I feel like people won't believe me when I say that it's better than homemade. And I feel like most Norwegians really like this. If you are Norwegian, you know that this is good. And if you have never tried this, it's probably because you're not Norwegian or been in Norway. And then I feel bad for you. <laughs> no, just kidding. But if you ever travel to Norway, you have to buy a couple of these and bring home. <laughs> I promise it's so good. But maybe I feel like that because it's very nostalgic for me this soup. I think all Norwegian children have grown up eating this. So you may not agree with me, but don't knock it till you've tried it. I got my egg ready and I'm also adding milk and some cream. So it's almost time for bed and one thing I always do before I go to sleep is to 
read on my bed. My Kindle is one of my dearest possessions and I think I've got nearly 200 books <laughs> on this thing. I can't say that I have read every book but it's the plan. Slowly getting there. People are kind of saying that it's two different hobbies, buying books and reading books. I enjoy both but I always buy way more books than I'm able to read but maybe someday. And tonight I'm going to finish the Harry Potter series. I'm really dreading it. I don't want to. I get so sad every time I finish the books. The last three or four years I have done a reread once a year. So I usually start during the fall and then I start on the first book of course. And then I spend maybe half a year reading all the books because I almost exclusively read on my bed before I go to sleep. So that's why it's taking so long. But for me it's no rush because I really enjoy them. I just love those books so much. I can't even explain it. So now I'm very sad because tonight I'm finishing it. I have two chapters left of the seventh book and I just know that I'm going to cry and I haven't decided yet if I should read The Cursed Child as the finale. I'm leaning towards not because I have mixed feelings about that book, if you can call it a book. I did kind of enjoy it the first time I read it. It just doesn't feel the same as the main series. So I don't think I'm going to read it this time. I don't think I read it last time either, last year. No, I didn't do that. So yeah, I'm skipping it this time too. So this will be the end for me. Maybe I will begin watching the movies later, maybe this weekend. So now I'm going to go to bed, finish my book and get my ugly crying over with. And I just have to remember that I can always read them again, probably already this coming fall. Hogwarts will be waiting for me. Great, I'm already in tears. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. It's just books. It's fiction. It's not real. But at the same time, it's so so real, so real to me. Okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog now. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Good night!